YouTube. What it do? Reaction as for teens in the building. Assistant as for teens in the building. Meditation as for teens in the building. I gotta do that. Oh man. I'm sorry, I'm just not in the mood. I'm just, I'm half dead tired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need my sleep. <laughs> and actually, that, and I wake up way too early. Anyway, um, shout out to DJ Small Eyes. So this chick named Jasmine Could David. She was dating someone very popular. I wonder who. And he told me you're one cheeseburger away. And by the way, I'm live streaming as well. So I'm like doing two things at once. You know, I'm just being me. All right. Let's do this. Sorry, guys. My energy is just not into it. I mean, it's not that it's into it. It's just that I am tired. And I'm trying to like stay awake. Hate versus constructive criticism. Yeah, and it really depends on the person that it's coming from because if you know somebody and you know, like, you know that they don't have any wrong intentions, like, you know that they genuinely are just giving you some suggestions. But other times, um, a lot of the times, people are pretending like, you know, they're just trying to give constructive criticism, yeah, but they really, really they're actually hating. And a lot of times it comes from people that are close to you. You know, and sometimes, like, they always say, like, it's good to be smart, but not too smart. It's never good to be anything too much. So, because um, people don't like to see that. People don't want to see that you have it all or they don't, you know, they. that's why they're always picking at them small things. Because they don't like to see that, damn, you're good at this, you're good at this, you're good at that. So. Basically, what she's trying to say, they don't like to see you shine. Well, a lot of times they'll act like they're getting, but really deep down is something insecure within them. You know, maybe they're not happy with themselves and they're actually just. Trust, trust me, back in my old job when I was working overnight, I was dealing with a bunch of people like that. Trust me, I was dealing with people like that. And, and in those type of situations, man, you can do two things. Shoot them all or walk away. You choose. Saying things, you know, out of spite. Uh, okay, what's going on? You know, out of spite. will hate you know <laughs> okay so I, I don't know what happened sorry guys most fans will will hate you know <laughs> okay so how can you tell a per a stranger can you tell the difference between a stranger making a hateful comment versus a critic a constructive criticism comment well simple a uh, simple um you can just look at a person if they saying something negative or it's positive because you can give constructive criticism in a positive way you know but if they saying something you know like that's just full out negative I mean you can see the difference like that um, but what I try to do is even if I can even if deep down I know that this person like has ulterior motives or you know they're coming from a different point of view I will still just take the I'll, I'll take it on the chin you know and I'll just let it ride I, I don't you don't have to always have an answer for everything mm -hmm. you don't have to always let somebody know what you know mm -hmm. you know you could just be like okay you know i've had a lot of people friends you know people i've dated say things to me that were hurtful one time i was dating somebody and he told me he was like you're one cheeseburger away and i was like what <laughs> like um you know and he was very he, he is very popular and when he told me that, I was like, why would, in my mind, I'm like, why would you say that to me? Like, I didn't say anything to you. You just came out and told me that I'm one cheeseburger away. 
But, you know, I didn't say anything. I just, like, thought about it, and it kind of bothered me. I started looking at myself in the mirror, and I was like, am I? And, like, you know, I was looking at my stomach. <laughs> but um, I've just learned to be the, be the best critic and judge of yourself. So anybody can say what they want, but if you're in control and you're in the driver's seat, it really doesn't matter what you say because I'm in control and, you know, I know what I need to do. That's even tougher, though. How can you f figure out if somebody's, now somebody that you know, like you said, somebody criticizing constructive criticism versus the constructive criticism with that ulterior motive? How are you able to spot the difference there? It's really hard. But um, another thing I do is I just block people out that don't make me feel good. You have to keep people around that uplift you. You know, like somebody who really cares about you, like even maybe you didn't do something right. You know, you can say something about it, but you're going to concentrate on the strong points that they did. You know, but you know what? You did this really, really good and I'm really proud of you. So you got to keep people around you who make you feel good. You don't want people around you who's constantly breaking you down and always got something negative to say. Because yeah. those people will rub off on you. And those are the people that you have to keep out because that negative energy will build up. It will build up, it will build up, and it will suck you dry of your positive energy mm -hmm. and, and um, the positive things that you have about you and your drive. It will tear you down, your drive. So you have to eliminate those kinds of people who's like, tearing you down and not making you feel good about yourself. Yeah. Could that, in a sense, though, lead to somebody that just has yes people? I know none of you guys don't really care about this, but, you know, this is part of my content I will upload. Like, I like everything what she's saying. It's right to the T. Like, she is not wrong about anything. And that's what I love about this girl. Like, she's not doing anything wrong. People around them? And if you catch my drift there probably because i feel like sometimes i do that too and maybe i'm not making the right decision and maybe i don't know enough yet but i have I, i'm i'm to a point in my life like that like if it's not making me happy and every time i come around you i'm upset and you you constantly make me feel so i don't have time to deal with that like i don't have time to deal with people who are not people of their word i don't have time for that um so I'm constantly like shutting people out. And especially if I'm going through something, I'll shut the world out. I'll shut the world out. Social media won't hear from me. Nothing will hear from me because it's like, I think it's kind of like um, a subconscious way of protecting myself. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm get, I know I'm about to get hurt, so I'm gonna shut all this out before that happens. Um, so yeah, maybe that will put you in a position where you're just around yes people but if you're doing what you want to do be around all the yes people because you're doing what you want to do and you're happy in your life happy yes but could that be harmful to somebody that just surrounds them with yes, yes people because now you don't know real some some of those yeses are not real and then now you find yourself lonely again you know um but I would say, like, my mom is one of those people. She's not a yes woman. Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's a definitely a tricky battle, like, with life. In, in that situation, what this person is talking about, it's like, you're doing the right thing, shutting all these terrible people out. But then again, you have people who just shake their head, like, yeah, you should do this, yeah, you should do that. But then again, it's like, Am I doing this right or am I doing this wrong? Like, no, no, no. Like, everyone tells you things that you want to hear. And after a while, like, you'd be sitting back thinking, well, what do you really think? Tell me what's on your mind. And that person may be afraid you might shut them off. It's, it's, it's such a complicated, like, area to attack. You know what I'm saying? It's just you got to take the good with the bad. That's... That's probably the best advice, you know what I'm saying? But like Shorty said, too, it's you also, too, if they don't make you feel right, you don't have to ever speak to that person again. Like, for example, I'm not going to say his name because he opposes it, and I don't get two flying F-words about the dude. He, he was just uh, a fake person. He always was just 
bad people around me. And I saw the opportunity to completely walk away, don't ever speak to this person again. I wouldn't care if he was... I'm going to be harsh and I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it a step. If he was dying, I, I'd be like, oh, well, I'm, there's nothing I can do about that. I would have to just completely let that person know because it's in the past how that person made me feel. And, you know, that's my point of view. It is what it is. But at the same time, during those moments where that person was constantly disrespecting me, or just 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 this bad toxic behavior around me. I'm sorry, I do. I couldn't, couldn't hang around you. And to this day, I still don't hang around that person. I didn't even hang around that person to begin with. I really didn't. Like his bad energy was around me, but I just seen the opportunity and I was aware of it, and I just uh, I walked down. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Those are the situations you you have to deal with. You have to experience it. You, know? you can't just run around listening to what the internet says or reading a book. You have to experience that for yourself with friends. Even uh, even with women, too. Like, man, good for you. Gee, let them go. Cut them loose. They, they're already hitting that wall anyway. So it's like, I'm not going to be there for you. Anyway, hit the like, comment, subscribe. Um, comment on my socials. Subscribe to me, run the numbers up. Hey, Amen. Listen, I hope you got that little lesson out of me. I'm glad I reacted to this. I didn't even know who this person was. I've seen it twice a day and I just ignored it. But at the same time, I, I jumped on it. So, reaction at 14 is out.